starting from the beginning and you can both talk or take turns or whatever, um, what happened last weekend and at what point in your guys, from your guys' perspective did things get out of hand? Well, I showed up Saturday night around 5 to the land lab in the classroom to, um, because everyone was getting their makeup done and everything to get ready for the haunted barn, which is the annual fundraiser that we do every year. And um, I was really excited about participating in it. And we, I was like, um, my teacher had told us before that there's been people that have peed themselves. And I thought that it was funny. So I was like, oh, I can't wait to scare people. <laughs> and, you know, I was excited to be able to do it. But um, I signed up for the role doing people in black. And there was other people that did it too. And our job was basically to hide one person hid like behind the wall and like pounded in the wall and jumped out and scared people and we like hid behind hay bales and there was like statues with black cloaks and I hid behind one of those and I would kind of just come out and like kind of follow behind people and like jump out right in front of them and scare them and um, that was kind of what we were supposed to be doing but before the the whole barn the haunted house started we were everyone was getting in their spots and I was walking over to the scene next to us to talk to one of my friends before everything started and they were taking a group picture so I was like they were like hey do you want to be in the picture I was like yeah sure why not and then um we took a picture just a group picture um and after everyone walked away the girl who had took the picture had posted um the picture with a caption um hashtag whatever um, and the rest of us weren't really aware of what she had said. I thought I heard her say something, but I was far enough away. I was like, you know, she's probably not even what she said. But um, the people that I have, I had just met that group of people. The whole group of people, it was my first time ever meeting them. They were in the same group as me. You know, we were just trying to volunteer and do our fundraiser. And um, so I didn't even know that the picture was posted until Sunday morning when people were blowing up my phone. Um, there was like 26 or more people that had added me and had just like gone off on me. And I'm like, look, I, I don't even, I wasn't a part of whatever had happened. And like, I, I felt bad because that stuff had been taken that way. But um, in my opinion, the picture was innocent until somebody made it wrong. And um, the one kid in our group that I actually knew, um, he didn't know that she had put the caption either, and the whole thing, it just doesn't seem fair to me that all of us are getting blamed and just have to online for the one girl's action. Um, so. Was the girl who made that caption, was she also in the photo, or was she not even? She was in the photo. Okay. Not in the um, original photo, right? Yeah, in the original photo. Were your guys' job, and as I completely like get it now, was to be in all black and like go out and scare people. At any point, did the chaperone like have you guys paint your face like that? Did, did they ever say that maybe that like wouldn't have been a good idea? Because that's also been like a question. Yeah, well, when I showed up, I didn't want to paint my face because I was like, oh, I'm gonna break out so bad tomorrow. <laughs> but um, he said that he wanted us to paint our faces so that we could be less visible. Because um, he thought that if we did, weren't completely dark, then somebody would see our skin and whatnot. So he told us to put our hair back and put our hoods up and have our faces black so that we wouldn't be visible at all. So, um, yeah, he, we so, didn't just show up in, yeah. with black face paint. So uh, it wasn't just that the chaperone wasn't like, this might not be a good idea. They, like, actually told you. To yeah, that. right. To. And I, as a parent, didn't see anything wrong with that at all I don't really don't feel like the teacher or chaperone or anybody did anything wrong in this it was it's literally just been blown out of proportion as far as um, the hashtag comment posting on the original picture and all of that because these kids were innocently just um, participating in a well-known fundraiser in the community just trying to help have some fun you know and there wasn't anything malice or racist or anything that should have been taken as that in in my opinion from the original group taking the photo it's the things that had happened in the aftermath and 
that's been created from that that I you know that that seems to be coming from um and I know that others may have other opinions but I really don't feel like the chaperones nor the students had done anything that should be taken as you know um right so you would probably say that like everything for that hashtag was fine and that 